music I hear? Certainly is. A pop music at that. Listen, we have all kind of cases here. 
Yeah. Here's a wire just got from the chief of police in the next town. Yeah, what is it? He says, to whom it may concern, that's you. This is to notify you that Slaughterhouse Mike, the killer, has escaped from prison and is headed in your direction. Well, come on, then. Let's get out of here. No. Huh? I know how brave you are. You do? I can see you now, stalking this mad killer. Me? Yes. You're casually walking along. Yeah. But Slaughterhouse is sneaking towards the corner. When suddenly, bam! Oh, yeah, I go. No. You and Slaughterhouse come face to face. Oh, is that? And he says, mm -hmm. are you looking for me? And I said, no, man, I ain't looking for you. But I'm looking, yes, you are. Oh, yes? You say yes. Uh -huh. I can see you now. Yeah. You've got fire in your eyes. He put it out, though. Old Slaughterhouse goes for his gun. Yeah. Then you go for yours. That's good, because mine will be home. No, I you don't. Slaughterhouse suddenly turns. Yeah. Starts to run. Ego. Down the street. Around the corner. Yeah. I'm telling you that slaughterhouse certainly can run. Yeah, but he can't catch me. He's running in front of you. Yeah? What the, well, why do you get out of the way and let him... Let, let me run. I, you know me when no. I... No! Huh? This is where the real fighting starts. What is most? Slaughterhouse takes his gun. Hey. Then he hits you over the head. Yes. Then he hits you in the eye. Uh. He kicks you in the shin. Yes. And knocks you down and walks up and down your spine. Yes. But does that stop you? Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Margaret Westfield will entertain you. Thank you. 
this is the place. Any bad men yet? No. So bad? No. Anybody think they're bad? No. There is a man in this house that we think is making an atom bomb. Well, let it well of all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have one member of the family who is interested in science. He'll show you one of his latest experiments, Mr. Adam Jones. Thank you. Thank you. And now, folks, if I can get some gentlemen from the audience to come up here and assist me. All right, now, here's our chance. Go up there and offer your services. Meanwhile, I'll search the house. Hmm. <laughs> Can I get some gentlemen for this experiment? You say gentlemen? I said gentlemen. That makes it all fine. You just stand right there and tell me this boy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the assistance of this dummy here, I intend to show... Just a minute, just a minute. What is this dummy stuff? Who is this dummy you're talking about? Dummy? You heard me. Is I'm a dummy? You a dummy? You... That's what I'm asking you. Of course you're not a dummy. Well, all right, then. Well, I know you're not a dummy. Well, uh-huh. You know you're not a dummy. Yeah, but tell them. They might think I'm a dummy. They don't know. Oh, be quiet. That's it. Everybody knows that you're not a dummy. Now huh? you're talking. But you'll do until we can get a dummy. Hey, now, wait a minute. Let them, let them have minute. that. I have things to do. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in my hand, I hold a common, ordinary butcher knife. Yeah. And I'm going to... Whoa! What's the matter? What you fixing to do with the knife? Well, I'll explain later. Just a minute. You're going to explain it? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I intend to take this knife and plunge it into the skull of the dummy. Uh, whoa, wait, 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 that's all. What's the matter? I'll see you later. Oh, no, wait a minute. You say you're going to plunge a knife in my skull. Well, that's true. You, is what? Yeah, that's true. Uh, are you crazy? Wait a minute. I'm not crazy. Well, neither am I. Where do you get that stuff? You don't know how I do it. I what? You don't know how I do it. I don't know how you do it. That's right. Do you do it? Yes. That's all I have to know. But what I plunge this knife into your skull. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. The blade comes in contact with the first layer of skin. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, that first layer of skin does not mean a thing. Not to you, no, no. I'll prove it to you. Prove you remember it. what I said about the beach? Prove it. All right, you're on the beach. Mm -hmm. You're laying out on the sand. Mm -hmm. You get sunburned. I do. You do? Mm -hmm. Now, that first layer of skin peels off. Yes. Yeah. There, by proving to you that that first layer of skin does not mean a thing. Who rub it? Now, we come to the second layer of skin. There we go. Now that second layer of skin contains the nerves mm -hmm. and the veins. Yeah. If I were to cut one of those veins, it would mean instant death. Yeah. But do I cut one of those veins? Yes. Yeah. No. I go around the vein. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. we come to the skull. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, the skull is composed of bone. Yes. Yeah. And since in bone there is no feeling, we just rush right on through it. Next comes the brain. The brain is made up of air cells and gray matter. Gray matter. Now, if I was to pierce that gray matter, that too would mean instant death. But do I pierce that gray matter? No, I go around the gray matter and pierce the air cells. Thereby, you suffer no loss of blood. Now, do you understand? Even if I did, I wouldn't do it. Oh, come on. Get in the box. Man. Get in the box. All right, now. All right. Get in the you box. You know what you're doing. All I got to say is, as long as you know what you're doing, everything is all right. I go, what? Now, what's the matter? What's the matter with you now? What are you throwing that thing on top of me for? You trying to kidnap me? No, nothing like that. I have to do this. For what? What is that? Well, this is an experiment. This is what you call, um, our, um, Magic tapestry. Magic tapestry. That's right. What should you do with that? Well, you get in the box and sit down. I'll explain it to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, you stoop down. Yeah. And I throw this over your head. Yeah. That's right. Then I count three. Wait a minute. I don't want my head covered up. Why, what's the matter? I want to know when I get stuck. Oh, you want to know what's happening? That's it. Don't worry. 
You will. I know. Mm -hmm. All right. Now get in the box. Yeah, I am. All right. Now throw this over your head. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then I count three. You won't count. At the count of three, I come down with the knife. That's all. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I am. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hey! Man, wait a minute. What's the matter now? Are you in a hurry? Oh, no, I'm not in a hurry. Why are you in a hurry? What is it? What is it? Well, how do you want me to count? Listen. Say one. One. Then say two. Two. Then say two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, get I down know. in the box. You're wasting time here. What? No. Now, wait a now. You know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. You ever done this thing before? Well, I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, no. All right. One, two, three. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you have all seen me stick the knife into this young man's head. The only thing I didn't tell you about this experiment is that this is the first time I ever did it. So unless I am greatly mistaken, that poor fool should have a hole in his head. I will now remove the knife and show you the hole. Haven't you got a hole in your head? No, man. The hole is in this cabbage head right there. Well, good for you. I know it. <laughs> good. And now for my big finish. I'll take that, Bob. Oh, this is no farm. This is a present for my niece, Nadine. to get it fixed for you right away. Where's your husband? I've got a complaint. The door in my bedroom needs me paint. You want so much attention, it's really a crime. Well, tell him to come up and sing me some time. How many times must you be told? I gotta take a bath and the water's cold. Go get your husband, or else you'll see there's gonna be trouble. You telling me? What? 
you better not wood. Just cause you so handy, that don't mean you're good. Better change your lazy views, or you're gonna wake up with the blues. When you find someone else in your shoes, taking your time, posing like a millionaire, maybe you think you don't care. How you expect to get somewhere, taking your time. What you do, you always do late. All you do is aggravate. Seems like you just like to make me wait. Keep taking your time. Oh, it's maybe you think cause you're fine and dandy. Well, you better not wood. Just cause you so handy. That don't prove you good. Better change them lazy views. Or you're gonna wake up with the blues. When you find a new one in your shoes. Take it all time. Samson, get up or you're gonna be late for your afternoon nap. If that's a sample for marriage life, I sure was glad I was just engaged. You couldn't get him up with an earthquake. Oh, no? Well, just watch me. Let me try. Have that pin. I've lost it. My goodness, maybe he's dead. Yeah, from the neck up. This will get it. Not him, sir. Did I hear you all say something about lunch? You sure did, but just make believe I was fooling because you ain't going to get none no how. Well, I ain't did nothing. That's just it. But I was just arrested. Resting. That's all you and your relatives do, rest. Wonder you don't get tired of resting all the time. There you go, picking on my relatives again. Look at here, man. If you think I'm going to feed you and your relation to, you got another thing coming. Look at them. There's that lazy niece of yours. And your Uncle Uranus. Oh, Uncle Uranus, just how do you pass the time? I don't, Ethel. I just sit here and let the time pass me. Gaze on them. And your grandpa, Moe. Your two cousins, Columbia and Pansy. Them two sleeping beauties must think this year at the hotel. A whole lot of them, just a bunch of good-for-nothing loafers living off of the fat heads of the land. Only we happen to be the fat heads. Now, that's the lay off of that. It seemed to me we was talking about lunch. How about it? I'll starve. You is? Well, just continue on gazing in that looking glass and watch yourself starve to death. Who's that? Who's that? Me. I'm Joe. Oh, that's my good old cousin Joe. Ain't you got nothing but relations? Ain't you got no friends? Sir Pat, can I come in? You is in. How are you, Joe? Where's your baggage? Well, I ain't brought much baggage. I figure you got everything I need here. But I was scared I might get a little loose. So I brought my three brothers along. Come along, little doggies. Come along. Well, well, well. Cousin Joe. How are you? How are you? How are you? Just a minute. Why are you all launching off to? What is this? A quartet? Yes, I'm nothing else but. How about it, boys? Going uptown Abbey Town Abbey
Southern exposure. Uh, and Cousin Ethel, if you don't mind, the doctor says I gotta have quiet, and I'd like to have my breakfast in bed. Just what did you all boys do for a living before you come here? Uh, we was uh, traveling men. Traveling men? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna see that you pick up where you left off. <laughs> you what, 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 what's the matter? You can't do that. You can't do that for me. I'm tired of working and slaving for a bunch of good-for-nothing tramps like y'all is. Saying which, I hereby hand in my designation. From now on, somebody else around here has got to go to work. Arkies never dream. They must laugh and sing all day. Can't forget your troubles when you're thinking what they are. You can't find the sunshine when you're reaching for a star. Darkies never dream. Wouldn't help to live. We must walk a weary road that never seems to turn. What good would it do to yearn? Darkies never cry. Never dream. We know what we have to pay. With a one way passage, only Gabriel will redeem. On that judgment day, when we cross that jaw. and nephews, I has made millions coming up to visit you and want you all to help me stand some of my door. Who is it? It's me. Swami Rivers, the mind reader. Well, what's on your mind, Swami? I have been commuting with the spirit, Miss Peabody, and from certain rumors and designations, I've got some mighty fine news for you. Oh, sounds like it's going to cost me something. Oh, now, Miss Peabody, you know I don't care nothing about money. I's ethereal, immaterial, and inconsequential. But uh, if you insist, I'll take two bits. I knew there was a catch in it. 
All right. Now come on upstairs with me, because the spirits don't never come down to the basement. Now, how do you want this good news sprung on you? By the reason of your palm? Or the bump on your head? Or does you just want to be psycho-annihilated? Let your conscience be your guide. Just tell me. Shh. Concentrate. I see something distant. Don't tell me it's another relation. It's getting close. Now I know it's another relation. Now it's getting closer and closer. And it's a rich one. Who is it? Who is it? Shut your eyes and concentrate. Has you got an uncle named Frisbee? Frisbee? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Samson's uncle Frisbee. What about him? Well, he's a millionaire. And he done signify to me that he's arriving tonight. He's coming to spend... Spend what? Well, he's going to spend some time with you. Oh, I thought so. What's that? What is it? I, I don't know, Miss Peabody. You don't know. Let me in my spirits. Ethel. Ethel. Oh. Oh, it's you, is it? Come on, honey. We is rich. I just got this phone to five months of prison, and he's due to arrive here tonight. Swami, you show sure is some mind reading. I sure is. Come on, baby, get busy. We got to give that millionaire uncle a great reception if he wants any part of his dough. Come on, let's go. Swami, you is a man. Oh. Gotta shine your shoes. And bought you a nice fat chicken. 
to surprise you. I'll bring it in right now. Listen, Bill. What's the matter? There's something awful funny going on around here. A minute ago, I had my watch, and now it's gone. What you looking at me for? I don't know. Wait a minute, Jeff. Somebody took mine, too. Yours, too? Is it that? I sure hope you like this chicken, Uncle Fred. It costs two bucks. I'll take the leg. I'll take any part I can get. It's gone. What are we going to do? Why, it's gone. Hey, somebody's got my suspenders. Everything is going around here. What are we going to do about it? We'll call Swami. He'll tell us where that chicken went. Let's call Swami. This is going to be easy. You all just let me look in my crystal ball, and I'll tell you who stole it. Good Lord Almighty, I done lost the crystal ball. No. Yeah. Can you imagine that? But, but surely you that knows all and sees all don't know where the crystal ball is? Well, how am I going to tell you where the crystal ball is if I ain't got no ball to tell me where it is? Huh? Wait a minute. I got it. Job, him. Somebody turn out the light. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. Better take your sins and put them all in heart. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock.
I'm going on home and get me some sleep. Now, I got to get off the street because I don't want my pastor to see me like this. <laughs> yeah, you have to be so careful these days because people are so quick to scandalize your name. And I don't think my name was saying in the most scandalized. <laughs> I'm going to get on in the house and get me some seat. That's what I need. I'll get on in the house. I'll collect my bill. I better make up. You know, that's a shame. I know I ain't drunk. Just that whiskey is heavy, that's all. <laughs> they ought to stop people from drinking whiskey in the hangar. Get drunk and it makes you act so calm. <laughs> and I know I ain't common because I got some class I ain't never used yet. <laughs> He's going to tell me something about Green River Street. And I know about that street. I got like I told boy last Saturday night. Yeah. It ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll get in the house here and wake up everybody so I can go to sleep. That's the way I do that to you. I, 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 I see him. I bet man, I see him. Ah, uh, open the door, Ricky. <laughs> That's the boy I really do. Now, what's the matter with you? Hey, open that door, Uncle Ricky. <laughs> I know he ain't going out nowhere because I got on the clothes. What's the matter with him? Hey, open the door, Ricky! Now that's mean I don't like the room with nobody. He don't want to open the door for me. And I owe just as much rent up there as he is. <laughs> I think I'm going to move next day to go just for a woman. She's charging too much rent in her hand. Three dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, and, and got the nerve to be mad because we are 11 months in the rent. Why, she come asking me this morning, she said, when you boys want to give me some of my back rent, I just told her, she lucky she getting the front rent out of you. <laughs> oh, why don't I tell my door, right there? <laughs> then she come asking me, when is I'm going to work? And I ain't thinking about no work. I don't want no job. I'm going back on relief Monday. I was on relief last summer, but I don't know that. Got short of help in this. Couldn't send your checks out, and you had to go get them and all that, so I put it down. I was... <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do about the door, Richard? <laughs> I don't think he's going to do nothing. <laughs> but I get in, so I go around through the back, and I come around through the alley. I don't need no Richard doing no stuff. I just didn't want to be walking in no dark alleys this time of night. <laughs> go up walking in the alley, and somebody stick me up. I got to get it hurt, because I have nothing to offer. <laughs> but I get on in the house. After I get a little sleep, I know I'll be right. Like, and like I told you, now you know I ain't never drank no whiskey before that won't let you go nowhere. <laughs> Here, there's another thing. You keep this light out of that barn. You stay out too. I ain't bring no light. You just bring the light in now. Sam Kelly brought it. I don't care who brought the light in now. You keep it out. Yeah? Yes. Okay, with you, Pat. It's all right with you. We about to keep it out. Uh, did you tell about the same kitchen women to give a half out of whiskey? Did you tell me that? Did you tell me that? Come on, give me a blessing. Uh, what did you do in paint no kitchen? What did you do with the paint I yeah, had in that I bottle? Did. Who is it? What did you do with the paint I had in that bottle? Hey. Was that paint in that bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you should have told me so that. <laughs> you put paint in a whiskey bottle and set it in front of me? <laughs> uh, give me some paint remover then, I'll drink that. <laughs> right, come on, get Listen, Dustin, why don't you get yourself a job and go to work? No, you... you, you uh, by that? <laughs> why don't you get yourself a job and go to work? Me? Go to work? Son, you knew me for a minute, day, didn't you? You ever know me to work? You ever know anybody know the way? <laughs> well, coincidentally, did you ever know anybody know somebody found out have ideas about what? <laughs> well, don't worry, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you are impossible. I don't care what I am, I ain't tired. 
Now, this old woman crosses the street. She sees everything that happens in the neighborhood. Look at her. Now, she done five meals. And she done called her sister to the wonderful witness. She wants to make sure this is me. She keep on at the cook. Ain't that me? Ain't that me? Yes, this is me. I am drunk again. <laughs> I just hope she said something about me in the meeting, Sunday. And I'll have a whole family thought out to me. Her husband come out there last Sunday. He was so inebriated. Inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> when he got on his knees to pray, he went to sleep. <laughs> I had to sober up right quick and pray for him. <laughs> I ain't got no time to be praying for nobody. I've got my own soul to stir alive. <laughs> but I'm glad he threw his old hat out. Y'all take him get on in the house and get a little sleep. That's what I got. Don't let that door, Ricky. Ah, don't let that door. Ah, ah, I don't want you to open that door. I don't want you to do nothing. I take my ladder and climb up on the I don't need no reason. He wants somebody to beg him to open the door. I get in by myself. I don't think he's going to tell me. I don't have my eyes. Tell me, I don't. I climb up on the chair. I don't need no reason. I live my life with myself. I don't need to be a I live my life. I get in. I better man. I'm coming on up there, Richard. I don't need to look at I don't need nobody to tell me. I live my life. I don't think I'm going to be here long, Richard. Tell me. Now, that is. I know I'm high, but Georgia Pine. <laughs> but it ain't no use of being too high, though. <laughs> but I get in, I bet a man I get in, I clam up on the south, but I didn't know he's going to tell me. I didn't know how to live my life. I bet a man I was going to tell me. I get in. I, I don't need Rich. I'll... Oh, why don't you have my toe, Richard?